running a Black Friday deal. So you can get now using the this code 25, 25% uh, on all of my projects on my Gumroad shop. And you will get, if you go and put the code 25 discount at checkout, you'll get 25% off on your card. So now let's go back to the video. Today we, we're gonna have part two of creating this uh, amazing project and today we're gonna focus on this uh, project page. Yeah? Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add smooth scrolling with locomotive scroll and then we're gonna add some reveal effects and some randomness to the page. So we see that each of the image is somehow either uh, scaled or has a different dimension or has a different position so we, we're gonna work on this we are we're left here um, to the slug component and we're gonna work uh, mostly with this one and then with media section because that's the image and i think we're gonna go and add to the project description as well so first thing is to create the locomotive scroll uh, reference uh, for this i think i have use locomotive we don't have but if we go here into the hooks folder and let's create a use locomotive scroll. Oh, six so i'm gonna copy and paste the code um what all of this does is it takes a reference and then we pass um, props from the locomotive and then we import dynamically the library because this is a Next.js project and since uh, it renders on the server side and on the client we have to import this one only on the client because look at the motive scroll doesn't work in Node.js so we do this shenanigan um, for next and we initiate uh, a new uh, locomotive scroll um, element by giving following props and then we return the locomotive scroll reference to um, work or to have uh, one we need it in the future also uh, because this is a hook we uh, destroy the locomotive scroll on this hook or the component that uses this hook is unmounted by returning this arrow function so this is this is a pretty simple um, custom hook we made for our react coming here we have to create a new uh, reference so con scroll ref is equal to use ref and let's give it because this is uh, we are gonna add it to the container we know that for typescript this is gonna be a html div element or it might be null because initially the reference is not present and then we're gonna create the locomotive ref is use locomotive scroll and then we pass as props ref scroll ref the, con um, the reference pass to the container we get give it a smooth prop and we want to add the class to each element when it's revealed so it's reveal great data we have to give it an attribute scroll container and let's pass the reference that we just created scroll ref and then to the page grid we're gonna have this a data scroll scroll section and we also need to go inside of each of the elements so if we go to uh, media section media section yeah we uh, let's media section let's make this a data scroll element and 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 let's save let's go back let's go to project description we gotta make this one 
uh, data scroll element we already have this and if we go back to the slug we have the meta section that's all yeah oh this one should be a data section fantastic so as you see when we reload has scroll smooth class and if we inspect um the page grid element we see actually it's the class we added to the to the to the component is not added like this other props we just pass the this one structure the other props so smooth so let's go back to and uh, yeah so we see that the is re reveal class was added to the um to the image so we've successfully added the locomotive but one thing to to do is to update locomotive when all of the images are loaded port images loaded from images loaded yeah is loaded and in a use effect pass the locomotive ref to this use effect we uh, have a promise at all pro promise not all and we uh, will have a function preload Preload images and here it should get a class. We have this class for our uh, preload image function. All of the promises are solved. We have there and then here if locomotive ref then locomotive red dot update and we should import use effect and then create oops create the function preload a function preload we take a class which is a string return a new promise resolve and images loaded the uh, the library so document dot query selector and we give the selector let's actually selector selector and then we tell it to check it in the background and when it's done we uh, call the resolve query selector all what this doesn't work oh it's because we have to move this one here so let's go back and see kind of convert null to so we see that the images are scrolled smoothly and the container has the full height Amazing. So now we'll mostly work on the images. Let's go to meta section. We want to somehow tweak when the image is revealed and to have to see the animation. We want to delay a little bit uh, when an image will be revealed. So if we go and search for um code motive scroll documentation we see that the element is triggered with this attribute we can trigger where we can change the offset when the element is uh triggered we'll add i believe a data scroll offset of around 30 percent if we pay close let's do a refresh and let's go to here yeah so the class will not be added until the 30% of the image will be viewed. Yeah, so oh, from the bottom, counting from the bottom. So around around here, 
30%. If this one is be visible, then this animation or the class will be added. Now let's go and add um, the randomness. We're gonna create some, call them a new hook here. So use, uh, use random number. So this is gonna be an export function, use random number. And we're gonna give them a clamp, so min max props type props is min number and max number. Yeah. So inside here we're gonna have a width that width and initially is a zero then we're gonna have a news effect and we're gonna pass the mean and the max and set the width to a random between mean max and the random function we're gonna take from the low dash and then we'll return the width Let's import use state. Let's go back to the media section. And here we're gonna say that const mean width is uh, if index is zero, then we're gonna go with 20, otherwise 30, because we want the, the first or the hero image to be a little bit smaller. And const max with if index is zero, we're gonna go with 20, otherwise go with 55. And the width width is use random mean in width and max max width. And then we're gonna pass these um is width. Uh, through a CSS variable. So here we're gonna have the style and image width is width to the project ICSS here. And the major wrapper, instead of the width 300, we're gonna delete this and do a calc from var and we're gonna take the value from the image width and because this is a number we have to uh, multiply or to transform in convert in percentage and we're gonna multiply it in with the one percent we've got some uh, randomness of uh, the width of the image. We go back to the meta section and let's uh, use the same hook again. Margin left is use random. You want about zero from zero to fifty percent. Yeah, from the left. We'll pass the variable through the same method. So let's pass the margin left and we'll go back to the project and here we will say that. Um, Let's multiplicate margin left is image margin and the same multiplication to oh so, yeah we already have some some um, effects here now let's go and add the reveal animation we have the placeholder here uh, not this one but this one yeah so we have the placeholder we have to put it back to opacity to remove the opacity opacity one so in the animated image we have to move this or actually let's put it to one let's refresh so now in project SSS here, we're gonna do if is reveal target the image 
and the place place holder and let's actually do like this place holder and we gonna put the opacity to zero yeah and we want to have like the zoom out effect a little bit we're gonna do two things we're gonna uh, add here media image transform scale one and if we go to um, animated image we have the transform uh, one one refresh yeah did you see let's refresh again so if you pay attention we have like this uh, zoom out animation what I want to do is to add the background uh, slug component for the page container we will pass the style page page container background this is gonna be the project color if we search for page container is here we're gonna say that the background color is variable from page container color we have to put double dashes yeah we've added the background but as you see um the, the images doesn't reveal when we switch uh, f through the pages and that's why because um, the locomotive scroll is not updated and to do this I think we can we will do it in another way uh, through with the next videos but for this one we will have to stick with this log yeah the because this one changes so we can use use router from uh, Next.js and I believe the slug should be taken from router.query yeah because we are passing it here or not no and then we pass the slug to this use effect and let me check if this one works otherwise we'll have to do one more thing let's refresh let's zoom let's go let's go. oh this this one works quite well and the background stays the same i mean it changes with colors so there you go guys we've added another layer of improvement to the project we now have a nice smooth uh, scroll to the project page and we've added some small animations with the help of some CSS and locomotive scroll to the images and with the help of JavaScript some randomness to the page and thank you for watching the video and I'll see you to part 3 stay tuned